guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is my first time meeting you, my name is Kimia. Thank you so much for joining me today for this collective winter try on haul. So I have some luxury items, I have some pieces from Revolve, and if you're interested to see what I picked up for this winter season, then keep on watching this video. I had my eyes on this the minute it hit the market. I typically don't gravitate towards printed sweaters and knits, but this one, there was just something about the burgundy ivory black check that really got me and the fabric is so amazing. It's a thicker material but it's still um, like stretchy and comfortable and I actually got this in a size small. I'm always an extra small in like adult brands. <laughs> I've always wanted something from Victoria Beckham. I love her pieces and any collection that she makes. Um, it's always classic but sophisticated and gorgeous and the material and quality is always so nice. And I got this in a size small which actually fits so great because this has drop shoulders so it can definitely be looser. It's meant to be an oversized fit. I love that it's cropped, but it's boxy. I actually really love that look. I think it always looks so effortless, but so chic because you can really wear anything on the bottom. It has a mock neck style. And overall, this piece is just what my dreams are made of for this winter. I think this is so, so, so beautiful. I love everything about it. I can't say anything that I don't like about this. I got this for 50% off its regular price, which is the main reason I got it because I loved it so much the minute that I saw it. And then when I saw that it was 50% off, I was like, I need this in my life so bad. I'm gonna make a really lame joke and say how this sweater checks all the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so lame, I know, I'm so excited. Next up, I have another knit sweater. Um, this one is by Isabelle Morant Etoile. Again, I got this one for, I think 40% off its regular price. I love this color, this gorgeous gray. I'm loving gray right now. It's again, another hot color for this year. So it's mostly cotton mixed with wool and, al and alpaca. And I just love the silhouette of this as well. It's just such a cozy, beautiful piece for winter. It reminds me of like a winter cottage comfortable vibe. Um, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. But I have this sweater in my life that will keep me warm and keep me toasty and keep me happy. I haven't tried this one on yet, so I don't know how it'll fit. Gray in general goes well with any color. You can wear it with yellow, orange, blue, burgundy, brown, black, um, blue. Having a gray sweater, you actually have so many options to pair it with any bottom that you choose. Any jeans that I've had for the past like five years have been Levi's and I wear them to death. I love them so much. They, I could say Levi's and Redone are my favorite denim brands and I was consistently a 26 for the longest time and now I'm a 25 in denim. So I want my pants to fit properly at the waist and kind of like hug my body and keep everything in. So I'm a size 25 in these and they fit so well. Truly stoked about these pants. Cannot wait to style them and wear them because I feel like they're just a piece that I can wear forever from now on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really excited about them. So I'll link them down below where I can if you guys are eyeing these. My next pair of Levi's are these faux leather pants. They're also a rib cage, I believe. Yes, it literally says rib cage straight. So these are the same cut, but these are a lot bigger. They're size 25 as well, but they are so loose around the, um, the waist and the butt. And I hate, one of my pet peeves ever is when the butt is loose because it literally looks like you took a shit in your pants and I just like can't look like that. I just don't like it. <laughs> Unless you're like trying to look like, you know, cool. Um, I can't, I don't like that at all, especially for something like leather. Leather I feel like is sexy and it's, it should hug your body in my opinion, especially if it's a straight leg because then you just kind of look like you're wearing like your pants are too G, you know? For me in my wardrobe, I've always gotten a lot of wear out of my leather or vinyl pants. I just personally love them. I feel like they make the most boring basic outfit look so good. Next, I got these gorgeous, beautiful, stunning, every nice name under the sun, heels from Saint Laurent. I, Saint, Saint Laurent. <laughs> I'm minoring in French and I can't say anything properly in French, but I think these are so gorgeous. I felt so in love with them. I, I just, I can't explain anything about them because I think they're so, so, so beautiful. These are a classic shoe, but I've also never seen anything like them. Um, they have such a vintage feel. They're this beautiful ivory color with some pleating. It has this little gold ring, and then the, the cap of the toe is a very dark navy. It looks close to black, but it's not black. And it also has this adjustable ankle strap, and then the heel is 
this beautiful kind of like triangle shape heel. They are a perfect height. They're so adult and I think they're just stunning. I'm so excited to add this to my collection. Classic and gorgeous and I hope that you guys love them as much as I do because I really love them. <laughs> Moving on to Revolve, I got this mesh top by the brand Meow. Me meow. <laughs> um, my first time ordering from them, they usually have corsets from what I remember seeing from them as a brand. Um, and I thought this was such a beautiful print for this mesh top. These second skin tops are very popular right now. They remind me of, I don't know if it's the 60s or the 70s where these were really popular, um, but I think this print is just so fun and so cute. And pieces like this I actually really like because they can make the most basic outfit combination look elevated and chic and fashion forward. I like something like this with a blazer. I like something like this just with out of the 2020 trends. Um, one of my favorites is actually the second skin kind of top, which are basically just like, they're usually a little bit sheer. I find with the fabrics that um, every brand uses, they're usually a little bit sheer. Victoria Beckham had a really nice one as well. Um, but I just think that they're really nice because you can wear a like bralette under and go out for a dinner or have it be a little more sexy night out vibe. Um, or you can wear it casually with jeans or really any bottom. And I just, I don't have any tops like this with this pattern. <laughs> Obviously that makes no sense. Next up, I got another pair of vinyl pants. Do I need another pair of vinyl pants? No. So I left my favorite vinyl pants ever in New York, which was a bad idea. It was just too deep into my storage and I couldn't get it. Um, so I ordered these and these are leggings. The ones that I have are pants. So I justified getting the leggings because they're different. However, I got these in a size small and it turns out they fit really tight. I'm not a size small in the brand Commando, but they're so freaking comfortable because the inside is like a legging. I've never tried any of the Commando items. I purchased this because I was very inspired by the Saint Laurent fashion show this year because um, the show featured so many looks with vinyl pants and I just thought it looked so chic and so sexy and I got these for that reason. Be warned, they make so much noise. Like you'll constantly have to say it wasn't me. <laughs> because every move that it makes, it just, it sounds like you're farting. So these are like your music pants or your fart pants. Call them what you like. Next, I got another Anina Bang crew neck. I love her clothes. Her sweatshirts fit so, so, so well. And the material is unreal. Truly one of my favorite sweatshirt brands ever. But I love her crew necks because the quality is amazing. I can wash them a thousand and one times and they don't like deteriorate, the shape doesn't change, the coloring don't change, the coloring don't change. <laughs> I'm a little worried because I'm kind of messy with white, like I'll get foundation on it, I'll get some sauce on it. I got this in a size small for a more oversized, comfortable look. Next, I got another oversized crew neck. This is, I don't know this brand, by the brand Selkie. And I just thought this print was really cool. I like this color. Um, I love like an oat milk, creamy, nude color, which is this. And I love the print. I thought the print was so cute. It's like a mermaid with headphones on. <laughs> um, I just like the way this looks. It's very like, it's very like comfortable going for a coffee, but looking like casual and cute. Um, but I think this was expensive. I can't remember how much this was. I probably don't need both the Anina Bing one and this one, so I'll make a decision. If you guys have a suggestion, I would love to hear it down below. I think I'm leaning towards the Anina Bing one just because I have such a soft spot in my heart for her. <laughs> the last item from Revolve are these Nike sneakers. I'm forgetting what these are called. Um, I'm absolutely blanking on them, but I've wanted this kind of Nike for so long. And I love this color combination. But again, I'm on the fence now. I have post-purchase regret because I'm like, first off, Vancouver rains a lot and this is where I am right now. And I worry about this white like mesh part getting all dirty and brown and gray and gross. I love the retro sporty vibe of these. I don't have any truly sporty sneakers um, or like colored sneakers really. I have enough sneakers to not purchase another pair, but I just thought these were so cute and I was worried that they would run out of my size because I've actually never seen this color combination before. I feel like it's new and the only place I saw it was on Revolve and I just love the red. I love the taupe mixed with the white. I'm picturing this with like a trench coat that I don't have. <laughs> they might not make it in my wardrobe because I did just buy another pair of heels and they were bad for my wallet. So we'll figure it out. <laughs> Last item in this haul, I know is not a clothing or accessory, but I had to tell you that it finally came in the mail. It is the Jacquemus Images book, and I just opened it. I think it is 
So beautiful. I cannot wait to just get inspiration from these gorgeous images and the color and Jacquemus is one of my favorite designers because he's so creative. I love his brain and to be able to see the images that he's taken from all the places around the world that he's been, um, it's just, it's gonna be such an inspiration and I'm so excited about this coffee table book. I ordered this two and a half months ago and it just came because it was on pre-order. So I don't know if it's available anymore. I can't wait to add this to my book collection and just honestly get inspired from his brain and his images and his books. And I'm sure you guys will see this book again in the future in my videos because I am so excited about this. <laughs> all right, my friends, that is it for this collective winter try on haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested, you can follow me on Instagram. I post outfit photos there, random photos there. <laughs> and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.